you guys doing out there? Jackhawk coming back at you with another video. And today, sadly, I'm eating some crow. I got some things wrong in the last video, and plenty of keyboard commandos out there to tell me that I did. Now, you're right. This truck is not a twin turbo. Not a twin turbo. This truck is a compound turbo, which is where you have two turbos, one smaller and one's bigger. It's also a variable geometry turbo on, I believe it's the bigger one. Don't quote me, because I obviously don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, just wanted to clear the air on that. A lot of people were really angry about that, that I didn't say compound turbo, and I said twin turbo. I apologize. Don't call me CNN. I don't want to be fake news. It's just what happened. Now, my young, perfect memory, which obviously isn't perfect, let me down in the last video. As I stated in the last video, Arch Oil contains high amounts of zinc, which it does not. I thought that my oil analysis report from Blackstone Laboratories said that it contained high amounts of zinc, but the zinc levels appear to be just a little bit higher than average due to the Arch Oil. What they said here is, quote, you used arch oil in this sample, so that's the reason you got high potassium and boron. Boron is really the whole key here. And that's what I neglected to talk about in the last video. And I printed out the actual spec sheet from arch oil, and just want to hit the highlights of it real quick here. Uh, arch oil AR9100 is an oil additive based on advanced nanoborite technologies suspended in an ester complex. I have no idea what that means, but the point is, this stuff works. I tried to make a video, I didn't really know what I was talking about going into it. You guys are right, I should have done more research beforehand and really gone more in depth in the video, but at the same time, I was trying to make it a little bit more simple. So instead of saying stuff like compound turbos, I just say, it's a twin turbo. Okay, I, you know, put me in front of a firing squad, shoot me, whatever you want to do, you know, I don't really care, but I'll put this video up either as a separate video, or I'll make an edit to the first video and put this before the actual video, and if you guys want to see the first video and see how horribly wrong I was, and read some of these fantastic comments, uh, I'll put a link to it down in the description below, and you can go check that out. Let's finish reading a little bit more about the AR9100, what Arch Oil says on their website. You know, I'm not going to talk about it, I'm just going to read exactly what they say, that way we can just get everything out in the open. AR9100 is absorbed on metal surfaces where it reduces friction and provides outstanding extreme pressure, anti-wear and anti-corrosion properties to engines, gearboxes, and hydraulic systems. AR9100 also helps keep your equipment clean and extends oil life. I did hear that somewhere, I don't know where exactly, but that Arch Oil AR9100 also helps clean some sludge out, any oil buildup that you might have. So that's always a good thing, and as I said before, 6.4s are notorious for having rocker arm failures, so Arch Oil, I mean, it can't hurt. So, you know, put it in there. If you got the dough, as I said, Bill Hewitt, he uses the stuff, whether you like him or not. Put another link to his channel down in the description. Jay Leno's Garage, they're really into Arch Oil. I mean, I don't think he uses it in a diesel application, but he definitely uses it in his other cars. So, you know, they've been aired on his show. I'll put a link to his channel. Jay Leno's Garage, all of you probably already watch it, uh, down in the description. And I don't know if you guys were mad about the 6200 or anything about the AR6200, but I'll just read for you what... Arch Oil says about AR6200. Fuel modification complex is suitable for use in a broad range of hydrocarbon fuel types, including diesel and gasoline applications. This data sheet details diesel applications only. AR6200 will address issues associated with poor quality diesel, including accumulation of performance robbing soot and equipment failures, and will restore and maintain vehicle performance. Now, I think every single fuel additive that you're ever going to buy is going to say something along those lines. But, Arch Oil is more expensive, so you like to think it works, right? Well, who knows. I just use it because, like I said, I heard about it on Bill Hewitt. It dealt with Huey injectors, but that's, you can, mainly that's due to the AR9100, not really the 6200. But, it supposedly makes your fuel more combustible and helps it, I don't know, I don't know, okay? 
I'm being honest. I have no idea. But the point is, I guess it's less soot. I'm not really sure. But I like this stuff. I did notice less regions once I started putting it in. So, you know, take it with a grain of salt. It's helped me. And it talks specifically about the DPF. I'll put a link to Archoil's website in the description so you can go on there and read all this stuff. And... I don't really know what else to say. I mean... Let me look over my oil report here. This was about 10,000 miles ago, this oil report. Don't freak out. I've changed my oil since then. It's just an older oil report. It's all fine. Wear levels look good. Found a low flash point caused by fuel in the oil. Now on a 6.4, that's normal because of the regen process. It pushes the fuel past the piston rings down in the crankcase. Thus, you get fuel in your oil. Normal, nothing to be worried about. They say it shouldn't be have made its way into the oil, but everybody who owns a 6.4 knows your oil. You put 15 quarts in, you're going to pull 18 out. That's just the way it is. Either the additive or fuel is present in your oil, and that's a reason for a low viscosity reading. Yeah, I did put in 15W40, and it, the viscosity reading on the way out was a 10W30, so the viscosity was lowered a bit by the fuel dilution, and it, there could be a fuel system problem. No, that's normal. 6.4. Watch for the rising oil level on the dick Yeah, I see it every time I change oil. That can confirm an issue if one exists. Yeah, it's not an issue. Design flaw. Arch oil, guys. I use it. I'm a terrible liar, though, because, you know, I made a video that didn't cover everything. But I wasn't wrong. It does contain zinc. There are high levels of zinc in my oil from the lab report, so I guess I was wrong. I wasn't telling the whole truth. I didn't know the whole truth at the time. Making an apology video, you know? Gotta calm your keyboard commandos out there down, because... The internet's a dangerous place. Also, somebody out there want to know how I own a diesel, and I, I do. I don't really know what you want me to say about that. Anyone wants me to get an effing job. Yeah, I have a job. What's the big whoop? I have a job, and I drive a diesel. Hundreds of thousands of people drive a diesel. So, I just want to clear the air about this truck specifically. Compound turbo, 6.4. No delete, no tune, only aftermarket parts on this truck are a Mishimoto radiator and a 52 inch light bar, which I will be making a video on the light bar and the radiator, and I'll be making more truck videos if you guys want to see them. Now, I've been looking on the YouTube, there aren't really any big 6.4 channels out there for the 6.4 power strokes, and so if you guys want to see more 6.4 content, hit that subscribe button, like this video, and uh, we'll keep making more 6-4 videos. See ya on the next video.